then little did I know that I would be <laughs> in China someday uh, with people wanting to know what's it feel like to be part of this uh, amazing, amazing gang of people. And um, it's, it's, a, it's a really beautiful, sweet thing. And the fact that we were all able to get together and to do this kind of reunion, I think they're calling it an event series. It's, um, it's limited, I think it's only nine episodes, but it tells a great story in a short amount of time. And it's, it's sweet, it really is great. And it's tea back is gonna um, play a significant role in this upcoming series. Yeah, yeah, he is, he is. And um, true to form, Paul Shearing wrote um, everything you always expect from Michael and Link and Dr. Sarah and Teabag and everything that was there from before is there. And then what's also beautiful is, you know, we've all matured, we've all aged over the years. And he took that into consideration and he's let the characters mature. And that is evident in the show. Like from your personal perspective? Yeah, it's funny, some people might <laughs> say the old Teabag was pure evil. I, I don't, I don't know how to play pure evil. I really don't, and I don't know any actor that does, uh, because when we, when we play a character, when we decide to take on a character, we are portraying not a character but a human being, and very, very rarely is there a human being that is just black or he's just white. Uh, yeah, why don't we try to not open the door? Okay. Um, so it's all these great shades of gray, you know, um, and what I, what I love about it is that when I take on a character, I don't, I don't judge that character. On paper, I look at the guy and go, oh my God, he's a disgusting human being. But what I also love about what Paul did in this nine part uh, event series is that he's, he's, um, he's let the years since the show affect all of us, all of our characters, and especially, I think, for Teddy, of what he's gone through. I don't want to give any secrets away, but he's, uh, he's, he's had some uh, cathartic things happen to him. He's had an epiphany. Uh, he's still the same old teabag, but he's also, he's also a man that is very much wanting to change, and that's, uh, you'll see that in the new show. Uh, comparing with as, as has been shown in the States, is, it's not very positive. Uh, there are a lot of shows that don't do well because the audience goes, I want the same old show. And then the problem is they bring the same old show back and then people go, I don't want the same old show. I already saw the old show. I want something new. So you're kind of in a catch-22 because you want to give the people what they want, but you, people don't want to see what they saw before. And the great thing about this show, I think, is we give you a little bit of what you had before, but we also give you something uh, very, very new. And uh, after the prison break, you often play the villain. Do you miss other genres of the Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, you okay, got it off? Okay. <laughs> Ask me again. Uh, after the prison break, you often play the villain. Do yep. you miss any other genres of the characters? Um, I thought long and hard about this question because I've been asked this question a lot. Um, one, I'll answer it in two ways and then if you want I can give it more detailed um, reactions. One is uh, why do I play these characters? And one answer is because I'm really good at them. <laughs> and secondly, because I, it's my way of fighting, uh, of fighting the bad guys in my own personal way. It's my way of fighting bullies, it's my way of fighting hatred, it's my way of fighting evil. And to go back to the first part, I, ever since I was nine, nine years of age, and I always wanted to be an actor, always. And I, I was an actor uh, starting on the stage. I love being a theater actor. And uh, when I was 21, 22, I moved to New York. And my first agent said, what do you want to do? And I said, well, I love the theater. And he was really upset at me because I wasn't telling him that I wanted to make money. I've never, I didn't really care about making money. I, I said I love the theater. And he said, 
what else do you want to do? And I said, well, I love, uh, I love film. In a pinch, I do film. And he said, he pounded his fist on the table. He said, you left out the number one paying job, television. And I'm like, ah, television. I don't want to do television. I'm not a slut. I'm not a prostitute. I'm not going to sell myself out on television. And look, here I do all kinds of things about it. But I, I, when I first started acting, especially in television, I wasn't the typical, you know, I wasn't the good-looking guy that was you know, what was television in the late 70s and early 80s. I wasn't that kind of actor. So I thought about it, I went, wait a minute, I've got a dilemma here. I love acting, but I'm not going to always play the good guy. I'm not always going to play the, the handsome, nice, sweet guy. So I thought, what can I do in order to keep acting? Because the most important thing is I love acting. Okay, we begin bombing in five minutes, what? Okay, <laughs> just kidding. Um, okay, I'm uh, almost done. No, no, let me, let me finish this okay, answer. Okay. Uh, they can wait a minute. So, so I said, I gotta, how, do I, how can I keep working? So I thought, okay, I'll be the funny guy. Or I'll be the smart guy. Or I'll be the bad guy. Because I'm smart, so I can figure out how to be the bad guy. And then I realized by playing the bad guy sometimes, I go, ah, I can do my part. Because every story is usually about good versus bad, right? Good versus evil. So I hate these things. I hate people that are bullies. I hate people that mess with you too much. So I thought, maybe if I play that guy, I can make the same kind of statement. And I'd also like to say, to wrap it up, that I do play good characters. I do play good guys. 2017, I'm doing so many different kinds of roles. Yeah. You'll see me on the sixth season of Homeland. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm not, by the way, going to tell you whether I'm going to play a good guy or guy, bad guy. You'll see. I'm in David Lynch's reboot of Twin Peaks, which is going to be an amazing reboot. Uh, I continue my recurring role on iZombie. That's, there's nothing like that magic. All right, about, about the role you play, most of them are villains. Mm -hmm. And people, people know you as a bad guy, but what do you think of self? Do you love playing as a bad guy or, or a good guy? I love, first of all, I love acting, period. So however I can act, I can do it. I realized when I moved to L.A., L.A. was very much about the physical, about what you look like. And uh, I thought, you know what, I am not going to let these people tell me I can't act. So I'm not, I was kind of a pretty boy. In my 20s, I had long hair and I was like soft skin. I was very sensitive. I wasn't like the you know the big tough guy. And so I thought I've got two choices here. I can either quit acting, or I can figure out how to change what I do in order to get a job. So I thought, ah, if I'm up for somebody that's also the pretty boy and he's going to play the hero, then I've got to play either his best friend, be funny, or I've got to play the bad guy. So I did all those things, and that's how I kept working. I never had another job since I was 20, 21. I had waited tables when I was 21, and that's it. I've always been able to survive. Have you ever considered if you are not an actor, what would you be? Oh, so many things. <laughs> so many things. If I didn't have to make money ever again, I would. I, I love nature. I, I, I'm crazy about nature. My wife and I are going to uh, Xi'an uh, uh, tomorrow, and we're going to the Hua Mountain. Mm -hmm. And uh, we any 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 country we go, any city we go to, we like to get into green. So anything related to green, I would I would love to be a part of. It. And Hua I hope that I can. Hmm? Hua Mountain is a nice place. It's probably the most interesting on my life ever. Yeah, I can't wait. And we're, we may even do that thing where you walk around yes, the thing on the through flanks. The yeah. On, on the, okay. on the, but it's no, a little it's, dangerous, right? It's a little dangerous. <laughs> you have to prepare for that, but for that guy, I think it would be fine. <laughs> but see, I'm not really a bad guy. I'll be out there going, right, right. Yeah. And uh, the new prison break is coming.